Hello and what's up YouTube? I needed a sprocket for my motor assisted bike project but I cannot find one that match my requirement so I thought of making my own custom sprocket just by using common shop tools. In this video I will show you how I did it. I have to draw the sprocket to make a pattern. I'm making a 13 tooth sprocket and the first thing I did was to make a regular polygon with 13 sides. The sides of the polygon is 12.7 mm length, which is also the pitch of the roller chain. The pitch of the chain is the center to center distance between two adjacent rollers. For bicycles, it is usually 1 half inch or 12.7 mm. Let me show you the diameter of the circumscribed circle of the polygon. It is very close to the value of 4 times the number of teeth. So, if you are manually making the drawing, you can start by making a circle with a diameter of 4 times the number of teeth. Use that as a guide when you place the divider set to 12.7 mm. Then, go around the circle until you get the exact regular polygon. After I made the polygon, I then make two small circles. The diameter is same as that of the chain roller. In my chain is 5 16th of an inch or 7.94 mm. But I used 8 mm because that is the closest drill bit size I have. Those two circles represent the two rollers in a link of a chain. Then I made a circle at the center for the center bore of the sprocket and a big circle tangent to the two smaller circles. Now I'll make the profile of the sprocket tooth by drawing two arcs. The center point of the arc is the center of the small circle. The arc is tangent to the opposite edge of the small circle and the end points are the side of the polygon and the circumference of the big circle. Lastly, I join the ends of the arc with a straight line. And that is how we make the profile of one sprocket tooth. I'll just sketch a line coincident with the center of the small circle. This will be the center point of the holes I have to drill later. Since I am using computer program, I can just duplicate the pattern around the polygon 13 times to form all the sprocket teeth. If you are making this manually, then you just have to draw the tooth profile one by one on every corner of the polygon. The side of the sprocket tooth has to be that arc because that is the path formed by the chain roller disengaging the sprocket. The adjacent roller pin in a link serve as the pivot point as the rollers swing away from the sprocket. Uh, I hope that makes sense. I'm done with the sprocket model and since I will be making this by hand, I generated a drawing which I will print and use as a pattern later. These are the drawings printed to actual scale. I cut out the paper pattern and pasted it to my scrap steel material. My first pattern is for drilling the holes. 13 holes for each tooth and another hole for the sprocket center bore. I punched the center points of the holes and began drilling.
I just used an electric hand drill, but a drill press will be much better making more accurate holes. I started with a smaller drill bit, then changed to a bigger bit of the diameter equal to that of the chain rollers. In hindsight, I should have used a slightly smaller bit because I cannot hold the hand drill steadily and that makes for a slightly bigger holes. After drilling, I then roughly cut the circumference of the sprocket with a grinder. My first paper pattern got burned and damaged, so I just replaced it with another one I cut out. That is the reason why I printed two drawings. Using the grinder, I cut off the edges of the sprocket tooth to shape following the paper pattern. I finish off by just sanding away the sharp edges and give each sprocket tooth a slight taper. I test the sprocket to a chain to see if it, it engages smoothly and if there are no tooth that are binding to the chain. And there you go ladies and gentlemen, I was able to make a sprocket just by using ordinary shop tools. This handmade sprocket will be an important component of my motor-assisted bicycle build. Make sure you stay tuned and check out the other interesting project coming soon. That is all for this short video and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to support me by hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much and God bless you all.